Today we're making my sassy squash recipe. Why am I calling my squash sassy? It is sweet, it is spicy, it is salty, and most of all, it is surprising because this dish is gonna hit you with all the flavors. So what the heck are we doing? I'm using a kabocha squash. You can use a butternut squash or an acorn squash. The truth is, I went to the supermarket and no one was buying any of the winter squash, so I got myself a kabocha. We're going to dice it up or finely chop and roast until nice and crispy. Then I'm gonna toss some kale and fresh basil in a delicious tomato chili oil, which you can make. It sounds exotic, but it is so simple. And that's actually the first step of our recipe because we gotta let that oil sit and soak up flavor. So let's get to it. I've got some olive oil here and um, I also have tomato paste and some chili flakes. Classic chili flakes, nothing exotic, but obviously if you have specialty chili flakes, your oil's gonna taste better, like the Sichuan chilies. All right, so I'm gonna put some tomato paste and I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of chili flakes. If you have a jar, this is where it's super easy. You just shake it up and combine, but if you don't, then you can whisk this together and make sure it sits in a bowl. And that is how you make tomato chili oil. It's going to infuse while we get started with the rest of our recipe. And the first step is to cut this squash, this big ass squash. I did just microwave it for four minutes and it really did help. The skin is so much easier to break through. Look at that. We're using the pumpkin seeds here because who doesn't love crunch? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just cut the squash into quarters and then scoop those seeds out and drain them. We roast the seeds while we roast the squash. So it's not like we're adding anything extra to the recipe except for maybe rinsing them off. Seeds here, squash here. Now let's go rinse these out. We're just gonna pull the seeds off of that gooey, stringy part of the squash. I used a strainer, and I'm just gonna put them all on here and spread them out. I would say I used about a teaspoon of olive oil and I'm just like moving the seeds around the pan to fully coat them. This is gonna help them get nice and crispy. A little salt and peppy, or a lot of salt and pepper. Pumpkin seeds without salt are sad. Give it about like seven to 10 minutes and we'll check up on that. 425 oven, you can also use 450. It depends if your oven's hot oven or not hot oven. See you later. Cut it thinly. It's like kind of thin slice. So I'm just gonna kind of coat them while they're on the pan. You can toss them in a bowl. Um, I just don't like to dirty more dishes if I don't have to. Just make sure nothing is overlapping, that there's enough space for them to breathe. I'm gonna put these in the oven for, let's say about 15 minutes, then we're gonna check up on them. Remember, we have small pieces, so we don't wanna overdo it and the heat is high. I'm just tearing the leaves off. We don't wanna eat this stem. Then we're gonna finely chop it and combine some finely chopped basil. Now we're gonna use some basil. We want bite-sized pieces that are gonna hide in the kale. Obviously it's an herb, so we're not gonna use as much basil as we are kale unless you really want a lot of basil. And now I'm gonna combine it with the kale and just start running my knife over that kale. I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Make sure we get all of it. Now we're gonna season with a little salt. So just a, I would say like three cranks and let's get our new oil, which has been infusing for like 20 minutes now. I mean, if you make this the day before or a week before, even better, but even 20 minutes before is gonna be great. And you can drain the chili flakes out or you can keep them in, it's up to you. I kinda like to, Keep it just oil and a little bit of chili flake. 
This is gonna have a nice spice. Beautiful. So we're gonna set that aside, check on our squash, and we're almost done. I would serve it with a cheese if this is a starter for your meal, for your date night, you're doing something different. Um, and I would serve it with eggs if you're just having it as a casual lunch, casual dinner. I'm using halloumi because it is salty um, and firm and it can get nice and crisp. So the first step, dry it off like I just did with a paper towel. And let's cut it this way. So I'm gonna cut it into some thin little blocks. We're gonna circulate this oil around. Make sure it's evenly coated in the pan. So I'm gonna just pop it in the pan. All right, now I'm gonna just add some to my salad mixture, however much I want. And if you're using pumpkin seeds, you also just kinda of wanna sprinkle them throughout. Mm, oh my god. That basil ties it in because basil is kind of sweet, but it's also that spicy flavor. So it goes with the squash, it goes with the chili, and I think it's that nice tie that brings everything together. But hey, if you don't have fresh basil, it's all right. You can still make this. I love it too because one kabocha gives you like four meals. This is a meal. This is not a side dish um, or it's an appetizer to share with two people. So. However you want to serve it, it's a really great base for a protein, for a cheese, you can use feta or just put an egg on there. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Dining with Skylar, and my personal account is Skylar Bouchard. Um, all my recipes are also on my website, which is withskylar.com. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching and let me know if you make this. I always repost your photos because they truly light up my life. And have a great day.